all RVs have to have some way of storing LP gas. In a motorhome, there's an, an ASME, which stands for the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, tank that's mounted to the frame of the motorhome chassis. They can range from sizes between 10 to 50 gallons. Uh, typically, they run 20 to 30 gallons. And I, hey, Bill, I think this one's what, about 24 gallons? Somewhere around there. And, yeah. and, and, and you can see by looking at this tank that it's not your typical cylinder you'll see on a trailer. It's much heavier duty. Yeah. These are designed to, to withstand the rigors of being on the road. So they have to be resistant to chipping and rusting and, and all the elements that we typically pick up that's thrown from the wheels of the, of the motorhome. So Bill, let's go through some of the components of, the, uh, of this tank here. Sure, let's start, I mean, let's start with the regulator. It seems to be the most important thing of this whole system. So this is a, a typical two-stage regulator. Um, and, and this funny looking thing on the bottom here, this is actually the vent. So any type of regulator has to have a vent in case of moisture or anything like that, and it needs to face the ground. Especially in a motorhome because there's so much moisture and dirt that's kicked up, especially if you go to snow country. And then, of course, we have to use some kind of a cover that goes over the regulator to protect it even further. Yeah, I, I mean, I took this off ahead of time, but you can see once this is set down over that it, and all the way to the, the bottom of the bracket here, it really does a great job of keeping up all the moisture and the dirt and mud because, I mean, we're right behind the tire here. Right, so we have a, a two-stage regulator that's uh, connected to the valve here. This is the on-off valve, if you will, that, that uh, turns the propane on and off. Let's go through some of the other components in here. Well, and, and this is the 20% valve, typically called 20%, so 80% liquid and 20% gas, which is what you're right. burning off. Right, I mean, a 20% valve is a safety device, so when you're filling, that, that it will, you know that you've reached the limit of the, of the tank. Now, of course, it also has an OPD, which is an, an overfill protection device, and all RVs, all propane containers have to have that. And I think it's since uh, 1998 for even for trailers and before that for, for motorhomes. Yeah, well, and that's what this is here. This is actually uh, where it's filled. Yeah, and, you'll, and you'll see them when they fill it. This is a fill valve here, and it actually does have an OPD inside of it. It actually has a float when it gets up to level that it shuts itself off. But you're right, you, the, this is the 20% valve. You have to have it open during filling. I mean, that's where people get kind of confused. Just because it has a protection device doesn't mean that you can leave the 20% the valve, cl valve closed because sometimes it may not work. And the last thing you want to do is overfill these tanks. Oh, yeah, way too dangerous. So let's talk a little bit about the mounting system. I mean, that's something we have to take a look at because typically you don't recertify a, a motorhome tank. So therefore, you, it's up to the owner to t make sure that, that the mounts themselves are not getting rusted out and that they're staying attached properly to the frame. Yeah, and, and the whole general look of the tank, you, you, once you start getting severe rust, it, it can be dangerous. So once a year, you need to inspect it, either inspect it yourself or go to your local dealer and have them inspect it thoroughly. Okay, so this one also has a gauge, and we're going to talk a little bit about gauges later on uh, in, in this uh, segment here. We will, and I can point out this, uh, this right here on the front of this gauge is a remote sensor, so it's very convenient. This does have a, a way of telling you how much inside. Right. You know, the nice thing about this, Bill, is like, you know, when we go, when we go camping out in primitive areas, we can stay for a long time. I mean, even 24 gallons, that's a lot of propane, especially if you're not in, you know, really severe climates. But you know, sometimes some of these motorhomes can go 50, 60, 100 gallons. You can stay out for a real long time. Well, it, and it, the only thing that really shortens the duration would be the furnace and the water here. They use a lot of propane, but... They do, but you have an awful lot of propane on board, which is a nice thing. You do, and typically much more than a typical trailer. That's correct.